chart, okay? All right, well, Kristen, oh my gosh, she is the National Sales Director, is the daughter of Senior National Sales Director, Emeritus Connie Kitson. And prior to Mary Kay, you know, I love what you did before. I mean, how many of you know who John Maxwell is? And if you don't, Google it quickly. John Maxwell is an, a, a renowned, amazing million dollar speaker. I mean, I think he's written 90 books or I don't know, but he is one of the national leadership consultants for author and speaker, John C. Maxwell. She started Mary Kay Career in June of 2006 and moved very quickly in that her first month was over $10,000 in production. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. And she earned the use of her Mary Kay car in her first three months with the company and became a sales director one month later. So your first six months was super crazy. She earned three cars her first year because, you know, we just don't want one of them. We want to go outside and say, I choose this one today, that one today, and that one tomorrow. I'm just kidding. We have to return the old ones in. I did that too. She earned three cars her first year in business and is currently driving her 11th career car, the beautiful pink Cadillac Escalade. She has traveled the world thanks to Mary Kay. She's earned over 100 carats in diamonds, luxury trips around the world. We always say that your highest check hasn't been written yet. But the one they paid her is in excess of $36,000 in one month. And she's already earned $2 million in commission. She was honored and selected Miss Go Give Award in 2011. Um, and her, she and her mom, Connie Kitson, are the proud to be 10th mother and daughter team in the company's history. She's also taught internationally. She's married to her amazing husband, Dr. Courtney Sharp and son Luke. And now she has a baby girl on the way. For those of you who didn't know that. Please welcome National Sales Director Kristen Sharp. So take it away, girl. Oh, Janice, thank you for having me. It's so fun to see all the guests on tonight. And I just pray that something I share through my story can make a difference for you. So like Janice said, I actually started my Mary Kay business 17 years ago, but my experience with Mary Kay started way before I ordered my starter kit. It actually began when my mom made the decision to become a Mary Kay beauty consultant. And this has been over 33 years ago. So when mom joined, I was five years old and my brother Scott was two. And my mom actually became a consultant because she needed extra money. She wanted to put me in piano and dance lessons. But soon after she ordered her starter kit, she found herself as a single mom. And I will tell you that Mary Kay, was our sole source of income. It provided us with food, clothing, a roof over our heads. So if my mom didn't work, we didn't eat. So she was extremely motivated to make her Mary Kay business work. And really her reason for starting Mary Kay in the beginning, even before she knew she was gonna be a single mom was she wanted a job with flexibility. So she could have extra money, but also be involved and stay at home and raise my brother and I. Now, looking back, now being a mom, right, and looking back, I know that it was not easy for my mom to build a business as a single parent. And because I saw her firsthand, I can assure you that she had the same disappointments that we all have. But one of the blessings of growing up pink, that's what I like to call it, growing up in a Mary Kay home is I got to see firsthand how my mom handled things when they didn't go so well. And I'm so grateful because my mom's career in Mary Kay shaped me to become the person I am today. And, you know, it's kind of scary for me to think of who I would have become and where I would be right now today if someone had not offered my mom this incredible opportunity. Now, because my mom was single, we worked with her and helped her in our business. And even at five years old, I was in charge of labeling all the products. And as I got older, my responsibilities grew. I love this picture. This is at one of my mom's Mary Kay events. It was the first time that I got to hold and talk into a microphone, which was a big deal. Now, we always had a goal poster along with my mom's goal posters, um, because that's one of the things in Mary Kay you're taught is how to set goals and how to track those goals. So even as kids, we had quarterly apprises that we were working towards right along with my mom. So I'll never forget it. My mom was working for her first Mary Kay career car. I was working for my hot pink scooter. And my brother Scott was working for his Fisher Price bubble blowing lawnmower. And my mom was so smart and strategic. I don't know if it was out of necessity at the time, but she actually gave us a dollar every time that we had a babysitter where she went and worked her Mary Kay business. And so every time she held an appointment, a facial, a party, 
a, a sharing appointment, we got a dollar to go in our gold jar. And what it did is even at a young age, you guys, I started to understand that Mary Kay was not just my mom's job. It was our family business. Now, people always ask me, did you learn how to drive in the pink Cadillac? Yes, I did. And back in the day, like they were like the big Cadillac DeVille. Like they were huge, you guys. <laughs> they were so big. But my mom was a smart businesswoman because she would always let me practice driving while making her customer deliveries and errands. Now, what's so nice is through your Mary Kay website, with a click of a button, you can deliver a product and not even have to touch it. But back in the day, we didn't have CDS. So I was the CDS deliverer. <laughs> but when I got my license, you know, my mom was so smart because I was making all the deliveries for her. Also, you guys, I want you to know, with my mom being single, our Mary Kay business paid for my brother and I to play on multiple traveling sports teams and we traveled all around the United States and Canada, and it also paid for me and my brother to have our first car. It allowed us both to go to college debt-free, and that was through my mom's Mary Kay income. But what's so funny is people always ask me, like, you have to be 18 to join Mary Kay, so they're like, did you, did you join when you were 18? And I'm like, no, like, it's crazy looking back, but even though I saw the success that my mom had in Mary Kay, and I knew I was blessed to have grown up pink, I wasn't 100% sure that Mary Kay was for me because my belief at the time was like only older women did Mary Kay. Like I had no idea that like women of all ages did Mary Kay. Um, I love to share this picture because actually Mary Kay came to my college where I got featured to be a Velocity Girl, which was our teen line at the time. So I got some really cool opportunities, but still I wanted to follow my dream, which was to work for the author and speaker, John C. Maxwell. He's a New York Times author and speaker. It was my dream to work for him. I had grown up listening to his CDs. I mean, that kind of tells you how old I am, I guess. Um, CDs, yeah. So after an intense like interviewing process with him, I did finally get a job. And at 23 years old, I moved across the country from Washington State to Atlanta, Georgia. I didn't know a soul. I found a roommate online and I bought a car over the phone. And looking back, I believe I was able to do that at a young age because of growing up pink because of the life skills that I learned with my mom being in Mary Kay. Now, the reality was, you guys, is that my dream job wasn't all that I dreamt of, okay? My schedule was brutal. I traveled five to six days a week and I was rarely home. And don't get me wrong. I mean, working for John Maxwell was an incredible experience, okay? I learned, I grew from it. And looking back, that experience prepared me in so many ways for my Mary Kay journey. And I'm thankful that I got sick of traveling and sleeping in hotel rooms. And I'm glad that I got discouraged because I was broke. I took that job for $18,000 a year, by the way. Um, so I'm grateful now looking back that I got to this place of total frustration because it propelled me to explore my options. It got me thinking about my future. And it got me asking myself questions like, what do you want your life to look like? What do you want your life to look like? And what is truly important to me? What is truly important to me? Perhaps those are questions you could ask yourself tonight. Well, through processing that, I will tell you, I realized that Mary Kay Cosmetics had everything that I wanted and was looking for. And for the first time, I could see myself in this business. So... I'll never forget it. I called my mom and I told her that I was ready to order my starter kit. And there was like this awkward dead silence on the phone. I'm like, mom, mom, are you there? I think she was in shock because she had dreamt about this day of me calling her to tell her I was going to do Mary Kay, like <laughs> her entire career. But after a long pause, she said, well, that sounds like a great idea, honey. So June 1st, 2006, I became a Mary Kay beauty consultant. I mean, you guys, I clearly didn't look like a beauty consultant. I had no idea what I was doing. This is me picking up my first order and starter kit at the distribution center, wearing a monkey shirt. I just laugh all the time because it wasn't like I was this super professional girl, but I was willing to learn. And my first month, I booked 20 appointments, but I held 12. You see, several canceled and rescheduled. And I learned that that was normal. That was part of the process. But from those 12 appointments, I sold over $4,000 in products, which 
Janice told you that was a $2,000 profit in my pocket. I also added five new team members because they saw how much money I was making and how much fun and they wanted to join in. So through those 12 skincare parties that first month, but you guys, that was just three appointments a week, okay? I was still working my other job. I went on Target for my first career car. And me and those five women on my team, that's how we did over 20,000 in retail sales that month. We were just having fun sharing the products. And what was so neat, you guys, is month number two, I built my team and achieved what's called DIQ. You might hear that term, DIQ, Director of Qualifications. And I was so excited, you guys, because... At that level, I started making even a higher percentage on my team performance, and I started getting extra bonuses. In month number three, I earned my first car, and then in month number four, I became a sales director. Now, why that was important was because at this sales director position, I gained a 300% pay increase. So I was so excited when I figured out, oh my gosh, this is really where the big girl pay happens. Then in month number six, I earned my second career car, that mid-level car Janice talked about. And then exactly 12 months from signing my beauty consultant agreement, so exactly one year, I earned my first diamond bumblebee, like real diamonds, my first diamond ring. My unit did over 300,000 in sales. We got our first triple star, which was another beautiful, huge diamond necklace. And we earned that prestigious pink Cadillac. But more than that, I want you to know this, that month, after being in the company exactly one year, my 12th month, my paycheck was over $18,000 in one month. I share that with you because that was so significant. I made $18,000 a year in my previous job. Now, I want you to know this. As I share all these accomplishments with you, it sounds like, oh, well, Mary Kay was super easy for her. She had a mom showing her the way. Like, But y'all, that wasn't true. There was definitely roadblocks and lessons that I had to learn, but truly this has been the most fun and rewarding job I have ever had. And looking back, I'm so grateful for those learning lessons and challenging times because that's where I grew and that's what got me to where I am today. Now I want to share this because I almost didn't order my starter kit because I remember thinking, okay, I mean, the kit sounds like a good idea. Like I love what the company's about, like, but who in the heck am I going to sell products to? Like, I had a thought because when I joined Mary Kay, you guys, my mom had been in the company for over 20 years. So literally, like, I felt like she had all of our friends and family members as customers or team members. So I almost didn't start Mary Kay because of that. But I'm so grateful that I did not let that stop me because part of our training is learning how to network and meet people. And now with our virtual world, Oh my gosh, the possibilities are so endless. I also almost didn't start Mary Kay because I was broke, living paycheck to paycheck. And maybe you've been there, maybe you're there right now, you guys, but even the thought of starting something with the kit of 125, okay, seemed a little risky to me at the point of the life of where I was in life at that point. To give you an idea, I was eating off the dollar menu, like through the drive through I would do the dollar menu because I was broke and I was too prideful to call my mom and tell her that I needed help financially. I also almost didn't start Mary Kay because I knew very few people in my town due to my travel and work schedule, okay? There wasn't Zoom and social media and working virtually, but I decided to take the risk and do it anyway. And my first Mary Kay party I hosted, you guys, I want you to know it was a bunch of random people. It was like the lady at the drive cleaners, the lady from Starbucks drive through It was friends of people that I worked with, like really random people. I just made invitations and said, huh, you think you want to come to a pampering party? And I literally passed them out everywhere I went. But looking back, here's what I did right. I looked at my current situation. I knew the pain of staying the same, living paycheck to paycheck, was greater than the fear of talking to strangers about Mary Kay. And I remember thinking to myself, anything in life and business worth having has some type of risk associated to it. But y'all, this is a $35 risk, <laughs> or if you bump up to the bigger kit, a $125 risk. I mean, seriously, when you think about it, it's really not that risky. I'm just so glad that I did. I'm so glad that right after I ordered my starter kit, so if you're in for free tonight and you're ordering your starter kit, 
I would tell you, take the time to master the basic skills of this business. It really isn't rocket science. I took advantage of the training that was provided for free. And that is truly how I had success. And one of the things that I love about Mary Kay is that you have access to people that are further ahead than you. People with a bigger vision, more experience, people out of your league that are willing to teach and support you. So I knew to my core, this business worked. I knew the lifestyle it could provide from growing up pink. But one of the best skills, you guys, that I learned from my mom was how to fail forward, miss a goal, pick yourself up and keep going. Was I scared? See, right? But I quickly learned that when you master your skills, you gain confidence. And this opportunity has given me choices. So at 25 years old and single, I was able to buy my first big, beautiful home because of my Mary Kate income. I mean, you heard a hundred carats and diamonds, like more diamonds than I have fingers, trips around the world. I became a Mary Kay millionaire before my 30th birthday. Um, my mom got to crown me three times as the queen of Mary Kay. And if you're like, wait, what's that? It's kind of Miss America. Like we wear these beautiful ball gowns and you're crowned based on your performance not on your looks, okay? <laughs> now, I got married 10 years ago and my Mary Kay income allowed to us to pay off my husband's chiropractic schooling and fund his dream of starting a chiropractic office. So I think about that, like whose dream is attached to yours? I'm sold out on this career. Janice is sold out on this career and several others that are on because we've seen firsthand what this company can do for women. And we've experienced how it can positively impact families. You guys, the biggest gift my mom gave me while growing up pink, and I pray that I give to my children, is really, really her example of how to do life. When we lead by example, our children will follow. And I'm so grateful my son gets to grow up pink. Um, I'm motivated to be a work from home mom, to create unique experiences for my son, to pay for the college of his choice but also to help other moms do the same for their families. So my son is now seven. I can't believe it. And like Jenna said, we are expecting our second baby. I got pregnant with a miracle baby five months ago. It's truly a miracle. And it's a double miracle because we're having a little girl in the way. You might see my pink poodle. I have won this pink poodle, literally, you guys, 17 years ago in Mary Kay. And I said, I am going to have that pink poodle when I have a little girl. And I've been holding on to this pink poodle because her name's Gigi, and that was Mary Kay Ash's dog's name. So anyway, if you're wondering, what the heck is this pink poodle back here? That's what it is. But this pregnancy, as much as a blessing it has been, it's been very difficult. I've been really sick. I'm not able to get on an airplane to go our, to our big conference this coming week. But I'm so grateful because of the flexibility of this career. You guys, I've been able for the past five months to work from bed, and my paycheck has only increased. It's only increased from bed. And I just keep thinking if I had another career or I had a job where I wasn't able to go in and work like I was working, I mean, they could have docked my pay. They could have fired me, but that's not the case in Mary Kay. So you guys, this opportunity, it can mold a, a lifestyle of your choosing. And I want you to know if I can do it, you can do it. If Janice can do it, you can do it. So for the guests on tonight, I'm hoping you're saying, I'm in for free. But I also want you to know, I remember being right where you were thinking, hmm, okay, this sounds good. I like what I'm hearing. But what happens if I join and I, I like suck at this? Like, I, I remember thinking, like, my mom's good at this, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be good at this. So I asked myself, what was the worst thing that could happen? So if you're contemplating, what's the worst thing that could happen? Well, for me, the worst case I thought was, wow, I buy all my products at half price. I'm already using Mary Kay. I, I can't afford all that I want to have. So getting it at half price, that's a good deal for me. Worst case. But I also asked myself this question. What's the best thing that could happen if I started a Mary Kay business? Why do you ask yourself that? Maybe you could perhaps put it in the chat. What's the best thing that could happen if you started your Mary Kay business? You deserve to dream, have your dream life. And you guys, this business works. It does pink work. It's not a get rich quick scheme, 
it's a create wealth over time career, but you get to partner with leaders like me and Janice and many of the women on tonight with a 60 year old company with a proven success track who is number one in skincare and color cosmetics. You get to be a part of the number one team. And I'm here to tell you, it's so worth it. So Janice, thank you for having me on tonight. I'm just so excited about all these women that are in it for free. And I just want to thank you for your mentorship, your friendship, um, because you are one of those women that I was like, wow, she's out of my league, but I'm excited to learn from her. And you scooped me up like a daughter or a niece, however you want to categorize it. And you poured into me. And I just appreciate that about our culture, about who we are in Mary Kay, but also who you are, my friend. Oh my gosh, Kristen. Well, thank you so much. I so appreciate you today. I went down to leadership and I was standing on the stage with my good friend, Pam Tull, who debuted as an emeriti in her retirement. I'm standing next to her and Pam Shaw was standing next to me on stage. And just the friendships that I've had with people for, you know, I mean, I've been in here for 41 years. And so I appreciate your mom, who I know very well. And of course, Kristen too. And so I just want you to know, guess sometimes it's more than money. You will never find better friends. Like I left my jacket today in a place with a lot of diamonds on it. And I'm like, oh, where's my jacket? So I called the company really quickly today. Uh, let me stop this recording here. Sorry, I mean, meant to do